Hello everyone, this is recording a song in Pro Tools first and this tutorial is directed to those who want to record a song uh, found Pro Tools first and have a million songs ready to be recorded I suppose that you already installed your Pro Tools first correctly uh, you have your virtual instruments and free plugins installed so you are ready to record this will be our starting point When you open the program, you will see this window with options of templates. My advice is use these templates because you can learn a lot from them and those are going to be really useful. There are some routing already done, EQ, compression, and if you don't like it, you can change it after. In this case, I will use this pop template. I will not open now because I have it open already when finally opens you see it's going like this and the first thing you're gonna see is that you have a drums laid down already and that's the first thing you gotta do in any recording why because this is the instrument that will give you the tempo of the song if you want to record a soloist instrument anyway you will need at least a metronome to keep the tempo if you are being guided by a metronome or a virtual drum set, it's something that will help you in the whole process. You will see. Now, we will begin by listening to this uh, drum set. Perfect, sounds good. Now, I want to make a little change, so I double click in here and it opens the MIDI editor. So what I'm gonna do is to select this one, click Alt, you see the plus sign, and it duplicates whatever I take. And this is what I wanted to do is a symbol, that was it. Close the MIDI editor and listen to this. Perfect. Now we'll follow with the bass. Um, this that it says expand to is the instrument the virtual instrument you can do whatever changes you want in here I'm not gonna do anything because this bass is really good so let's select the pencil and put a note in there in whatever place now change this one that says notes to clips and it's gonna be easier to to work with use this smart tool double click in here and now you have your note okay the bass note is gonna be an A this is the length of the note and I'm gonna duplicate this times now if you listen to this this is an A now I select all of that and copy it next measure is gonna be a C the next measure will be a G and the last measure will be an A again Okay, now we have close the editor. We have the drums and the bass. If you select like this, in here, if you don't have this uh, loop, you make a right click and you select normal loop dynamic transport. Okay, this is a loop. The next thing I'm going to do is the guitar arpeggio. In this one expand I selected. 
19 guitars. Sphere 19 guitars. Sphere 19 is guitar. And then muted electric. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is copy this one here. Open it. Remember this is a, a chord, the guitar plays chords, so in this case this is an A minor, this is gonna be a C, this is gonna be a G, And this is going to be another A minor. Okay. Now, this is done. Now, we open the expand and we'll see that it says 16 notes, but the arpeggio is not on, so we'll put it on and it looks. Okay, you can choose in here what style you want. I like this one down. But I like it 8. gonna make some changes in here uh, what we're gonna do is duplicate this and one more copy okay so in this one now we're gonna go to the mix window so in the mix window we have this is the one that we have, let's do this one, this two, and let's put play. That's what we have now. So let's move this to one side. Okay. And the second one. We're gonna make some changes. Look at the first one. The first one is eight down and on. Eight down and on. And the second one is 16 up and on. And the third one is eight down and on. Okay, so let's hear this third one first okay and now in the mix window
when I put latch it separates more and then the central one and now you can see the difference you have a fuller sound and you did some little changes only and the sound is a lot better okay what we're gonna do now is delete this and we are gonna organize a little bit our song so we can see what we're doing we're gonna do is to duplicate this use an alt and we're gonna move all of this gonna make a difference you'll see in the way the sounds begin in the song make a copy of this one and after this point we will have to make a change we will leave only this two Okay. Since we took out this one, there's a space there where you can put a voice. And that's gonna be the next video we will put a voice to this one we will sing a song over this and we'll keep making changes okay thank you for being you in this video and have a great day